to another episode of Sports Rambling the Attic. I'm your host, Brian Belsito, and as you know, this is where we dig around in the attic and find shoeboxes of cards, old wax packs, introduce new stuff to my collections, memorabilia, things like that. So today, we're going to be opening a pack of 1985 Topps Baseball. So this one takes me back a little bit. This set of cards was uh, right in the middle of me playing Little League Baseball and Really, you know, I was about 12 years old, so really starting to understand the game and getting the fundamentals down and uh, feeling like I was uh, doing a, a lot better, playing a lot better as I was getting a little bit older. So um, some of the cards in this set that I would uh, like to pull, first and foremost, this is Dwight Gooden's rookie card. So I would love to pull that card out of this pack. Um, some other people that uh, are maybe a little bit of value, you got the Team USA Mark McGuire card. You've got uh, Nolan Ryan's record breaker card, his regular card. You've got Pete Rose appearing in this set as the Cincinnati Reds manager, and we all know what that means. So uh, Roger Clemens' rookie card, Cal Ripken is in it, uh, Kirby Puckett's rookie card, Don Mattingly's another one. Um, I wouldn't mind pulling a, a Rod Carew out of this pack, so let's uh, just go ahead and get this thing opened. This 1985 wax pack of baseball cards so i can feel the gum rattling around in there so we're not going to encounter that whole thing where the the gum is stuck to the card but uh so there you go there's some ancient bubble gum for you we will pull the uh insert card out and let's see uh, what we got here so we've got a Pirates third baseman a couple batting titles in the late 70s early 80s Bill Matlock a player I, I, I like so it's a good card the Wizard of Oz all-star card Ozzie Smith uh, Burt Blylevin of the Cleveland Indians. Now, he bounced around late in his career, but he had a great career, a lot of strikeouts, uh, one of the top 10 uh, in strikeouts of all time. Um, actually, I played against his son in high school, so that's a little interesting thing there. Um, here is Giants pitcher Jeff Cornell. Angels pitcher Bruce Keeson. Orioles pitcher, pitcher I liked. Um, he broke out early in his career with a uh, bunch of uh, a bunch of clutch wins while the Orioles were on their way to a World Series title, um, and that is Mike Boddicker. Uh, here we're talking. This is a cool card to add to my collection. I have a few of these already. Like I said, it's his rookie year. This happens to be my favorite starting pitcher of all time, and that is uh, Dwight Gooden's record breaker card for most strikeouts in a rookie season. Now, Doc was just straight up dominant, came out and was on a Hall of Fame path, and then as we all know, he had off the field issues and stuff like that. So, but you know, I like that card, I'm, I'm glad I just pulled that. Um, Pirates pitcher, John Tudor. He had some clutch years. He had a really big year with the St. Louis Cardinals, um, won over 20 games. Uh, really, really a solid career but a real good peak to his career, too. Uh, Blue Jays pitcher, Jim Clancy. Hey, I'm glad I pulled this card, too. It's not something great for my collection, but I can uh, make up for a past mistake on a set of, uh, a pack of cards that I opened. So we've got Astros third baseman, Bill Garner, not Ray Garner, like I called him in one earlier. Uh, Giants first baseman. Um, this guy had some clutch home runs in his career. Um, and that is, uh, well, Giants outfielder. Um, he also played first base for the Cardinals um, when they won the World Series. Has a big home run in his history to knock the Dodgers out of the playoffs. That's Jack Clark. Nice. Here's a, another cool card to add to my collection. It is his second year card. Uh, pretty much Dwight Gooden's partner in crime, and that's uh, Daryl Strawberry. Giants outfielder Dan Gladden. Ended up going on to win the World Series with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Blue Jays catcher and announcer now, Buck Martinez. And the last card in this set 
Nice, another giant. So we got uh, four Giants cards in this set, I believe. So we got Catcher, Bob Brenly, who went on to win a World Series as the manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks when they beat the Yankees. So there you have it, folks. Uh, another pack of cards, 1985 Tops. Pretty happy with these two Mets cards that I pulled. Again, that's uh, Daryl Strawberry and Dwight Gooden's rookie record breaker card for most strikeouts during a rookie season. So once again, I thank you for all the support and I will look forward to opening another pack of cards for you guys here coming up. Like I said in, the, in one of the prior episodes, we're gonna try to get this thing out every Thursday. Um, a vintage pack of cards, see what we can add to my collection. So once again, my name is Brian Belsito, and you have just finished watching an episode of Sports Rambling the Attic. I appreciate all the support, and you have a great day.